All right, folks. So let's talk about MCL injuries. But this is what we're talking about. We're talking about DeAndre Hopkins, wide receiver. Okay, so we're talking about DeAndre Hopkins, wide receiver for the Cardinals. And DeAndre Hopkins, what we've been told, has an MCL tear. But we're being told that both will be ready for playoffs. Right? There's only three weeks left in the season. So what they're saying is that within four to five weeks, both these players could be back playing in the playoffs. Now, why is that? Because tear sounds so much more serious than sprain. All right, let's talk about this. So the medial collateral ligament is uh, not just one ligament. It is a bunch of different structures. I'm not going to go into all of them. There's also a superficial and deep layer, but it's on the inside. The medial part of the knee goes from the tibia to the femur. Won't go through all the attachments. Okay. Uh, it is the primary stabilizer to the knee uh, medially. So in other words, uh, it is what stabilizes the knee when there's a force coming this way from the outside in, causing a valgus, causing your knee to do, if you're coming from this side, you need to do this. Okay? So this is the medial side, it's the lateral side. So valgus force. There's a way of grading based on how much it opens up, and there's a way of grading on how much the, if there's a firm end point. So if there's a firm end point, uh, that's a grade one. Uh, if there is an end point, but there's a lot, like some laxity, that's grade two. And if there's no end point, that's grade three. So grade one means that most of the fibers are intact. Okay? Uh, grade two means that some of the fibers are still intact. That's why there's still an, uh, an end point. Uh, grade three means completely torn. Right? So all three are tears, different grades. Uh, now, with a grade one MCL tear, a person could be back to playing in five to seven days, right? Because most of the fibers are intact. A grade two MCL, a person could be back to playing in four to eight weeks. And a grade three, the same is true. However, um, you do have to immobilize um, and allow that tissue to heal put a scar in, and a grade three MCL tail, a complete tear. If there's still laxity at the end of that, uh, of that uh, bracing period uh, of the immobilization, if there's still laxity uh, and the knee is unstable, they're gonna have to have surgery to fix that. Uh, it's usually a reconstruction of that medial collateral ligament. Also, if you have a medial collateral ligament tear, the other structure that can be injured with that, if it's a really bad valgus force, is the ACL, right? So if you've got an ACL rupture and an MCL, probably gonna have the surgery, right? So those folks aren't coming back in 48 weeks. They're gonna be out, they're out for the season, right? So uh, the MCL, most commonly injured ligament, stru ligamentous structure of the knee. And remember, it's a bunch of different structures. It's superficial and deep. Graded uh, as one, two, or three in levels of seriousness. Grade one, you can be back in five to seven days. Grade two, you can be back in, you know, um, actually I think grade two is a couple weeks. And grade three, four to eight weeks, okay? so. When they're saying that DeAndre Hopkins and Chris Godwin have uh, MCL injuries and they're calling one a sprain and one a tear and saying that both will be back uh, for the playoffs, which is four or five weeks away, uh, what they're likely saying is they have a grade one MCL injury, which means partial tear, but most of the fibers are intact. Or possibly grade two with some of the fibers intact. Uh, but I think that's probably grade one. So, or that's just, what's happening. Or just very wishful thinking. Yeah, it could be wishful thinking. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, well, it could be. Well, especially when the, I mean, the Cardinals played so bad yesterday. Yeah. That they need him back out there like now. Yeah, that's a good point. He's like, he's, he's going to get better. He's going to get better. Sandy Claus is going to bring him a new MCL. <laughs> Thank you.